everybody, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this super colorful, super fabulous teapot cozy. This is so much fun to make and it's so colorful you can dress up your teapot in this fabulous pattern. So I'm going to get into the supplies and then we'll get into making this adorable piece. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. I'm using four different colors and uh, three different types. So these two colors here, this um, off-white color and this jade color, these are super saver. And these are just scrap yarns. You don't need a whole lot. You can see obviously I have pretty much a whole skein left of this. So you just need a little bit. So this is Jade and this is Super Saver uh, Aran. Then I have With Love, which is super soft. And this one is called Holly Berry. That's a red color. And then this one doesn't have a label, but this green color is uh, Red Heart Soft Yarn. And this is called Guacamole. So this is just a green color. But you can use any colors that you want. You can change it up. Use one, two, three, four, ten colors. It doesn't matter how many colors you use in this project. It is so colorful and fabulous. And we are making this piece today. So those are all the colors and yarns you're going to need. We're using a G size crochet hook which is 4.25 millimeters. This amazing crochet hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. It's hand carved and ergonomic and it just fits in the palm of your hand so perfectly. It's so wonderful. Get these at the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. And we're using a G hook in this tutorial. And you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn, sew your uh, in your ends and everything like that. And we're going to sew something together too. In the front here, you can see there's stitches in the center here. We sew this up at the end. And then at the end also, we add a button. You're going to need a little tiny button here to clamp this closed. So those are the supplies you're going to need and obviously a teapot. This is just a four cup teapot so it's not very big so you're just going to need one of those as well. So those are all the supplies. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn for this tutorial today and big thank you to my dad behind me for filming this video tutorial with us, being here with us, and editing this tutorial and sharing it on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and also thumbs up this video. <laughs> Check out all the links in the description of this video. It will have the link to the written pattern for this um, teapot cozy. There's also a link to my Facebook, Instagram, my Snapchat. All that in information is all in the description of this video. So that is all I have for you in this intro. Let's get started and make this teapot cozy. All right, I'm going to start out with the green. Um, this is the Red Heart Soft in Guacamole. And I'm going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull your long end through and pull tight. And then insert your hook and we can start. So to begin, we're going to chain 12. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we're going to go to the very first chain to create a ring. So go into that first chain right there. And then yarn over with your hook. Pull it through there and through the loop on your hook. Just like that. Okay, so now we have a ring. And now we are going to chain 1. And you can work into each chain or you can work into this big loop here. And we're going to put 12 single crochets around. So I'm going to work into the chains themselves. So you can go into the first chain. I'm going to work around this straggler as well. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, go into the next chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to single crochet into each chain around for round one. It's that simple. So do that and then I'll come back when I have my 12 single crochets. Alright, once you have 12 single crochets around, we are going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet stitch right here, okay? So ignore this chain one right here. Go into the single crochet stitch. Oops. There we go. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through just like that, and that was round one. 
Going on to round two, it says to work in the back loop only. So what we're going to do is usually we work through both loops like this, both loops, there's both loops, both loops. The loop that's furthest away from you right here, way in the back, that's the back loop. Okay, back loop, back loop, back loop, back loop. Okay, so we're going to be working in these back loops only. So we're just going to single crochet around for round two. So chain one. Okay, work in the back loop only right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Next stitch, single crochet. Okay, and we're just single crocheting around. Very simple. After this round, I'm going to change color and we'll go on to round three. Finishing round two, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch exactly how we did it last round. Just slip stitch right in there. I went through both loops, you can notice, when I slip stitched here. Okay, and I'm going to fasten this round off. What I'm normally going to do is just chain one and then cut this yarn. Let me use the scissors. The scissors is very... yeah, okay. So we're going to pull this through the chain one and pull tight. Okay, so there is round two. Now going on to round three, we are going to insert our hook into any stitch around. I'm just going to go right into this one. You can go on, on both loops, work in both loops for this round. And I'm going to get this off white color. This is called Aran and it's Red Heart Super Saver. We're going to pull that through and we're going to chain one. And in this very first stitch, we are going to put a puff stitch. So yarn over, go into this stitch yarn over, pull through, we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, we have five loops on the hook, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, we have seven loops on our hook, we're going to get all those loops on our hook there, yarn over and pull through all seven of those loops, okay, and then we're going to chain one, and there is a puff stitch. We're going to puff stitch back into that same stitch. So we're going to put a puff stitch, chain one, and a puff stitch, and a chain one in each stitch around. So let's do that again. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all seven loops, and then chain one. Okay, so we're going to do that sequence in all the stitches around. So hop to the next stitch, we're going to yarn over first and go in, then yarn over, pull through. And we're going to do that sequence three times. One, two, three. Then yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and then chain one, and puff stitch back into that same stitch. Oops. One, two, three. Then yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and then chain one. And then we can hop to the next stitch. So puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, chain one in each stitch around. And at the end of this round, we're going to have, let's see here, looks like we're going to have 24, is that right, 24 puff stitches around? Well, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to count my puff stitches to make sure how many I have and then we will come back and go on to the next round together. Alright, after your last uh, puff stitch here, you want to slip stitch to the very first puff stitch right here, so not this chain one. We're going to go into the puff stitch or you can go into the chain one right after the puff stitch. Totally up to you. So yarn over, pull through and pull through. Awesome. So yes, I, I was right. You should have 24 puff stitches around. So if you need to count back, you'll have 24 of these. And yes, it's getting kind of floppy, but don't worry, uh, it will straighten out. So going on to the next round, round four says to slip stitch into the chain one space. So go. we're going to work in between these stitches here. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through into your chain one space. Okay. And then we are going to chain one and put two half double crochets into the same space here. So yarn over, go into this chain space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. So again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. 
Okay, so two half double crochets in the chain space. And then we're going to put one half double crochet in the next chain space right here. So yarn over, go into this next chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then we're going to put two half double crochets in the next chain space. So hop to the next one here, put two half double crochets, one and two and then one half double crochet in the next chain space. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So just do that sequence all the way around, two in the next, one in the next. And I will come back after that, we'll have 36 half double crochet stitches. When you come back around, we're gonna slip stitch to the beginning here, the first half double crochet. So you should have 36 stitches all the way around. So go into the first half double crochet stitch yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And I'm going to fasten this color off. Um, if you want to go on to the next round with me, just chain one uh, and go on to round uh, five. But I'm going to cut this yarn and then pull this all the way through this chain one here and pull tight. And you can start in any stitch around. I'm just going to start where we left off right here and hook on this is called Red Heart with Love, Holly Berry. So it's the red color here. And I'm hooking that on and pulling it through, just any stitch around. And I'm gonna chain one. And for this round, we are going to make back post half double crochet stitches. Now, if you're not comfortable doing back post stitches, you can just do regular half double crochets, but I'm going to do the back post stitches. So what we're going to do Hold on here and let's pull everything tight. And we're going to yarn over, get a little extra there. Go behind your work, so yarn over, kind of hold this on your hook. Go from behind your work around the first stitch, right here, okay, to the back, okay. Yarn over and pull it through. Okay, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that is your back post half double crochet. So we're just gonna do that on each stitch around. So yarn over, go on the back side of this next post right here, around the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, yarn over, go around the next one from the back then yarn over and pull it through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops okay so that is that simple so I'm gonna do that all the way around for this round there's no increasing or anything we're just gonna have 36 stitches at the end of this round so I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll go on to uh, round six when you finish this round, slip stitch to the very first half double crochet stitch right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, so we half double crochet in each stitch around. And it just creates that nice little line there. That's really cool. So going on to the next round, round six, we're going to chain one. And we are going to puff stitch in this first stitch right here. So yarn over, go into this first stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and do that three times. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. So we have seven loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops. And we're gonna actually chain two, one and two, and then hop to the very next stitch and put a puff stitch in there. So we're just gonna do that all the way around, okay? So puff stitch in the next stitch, and then chain two, and then hop to the next stitch and puff stitch in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops. Chain two, hop to the very next stitch right here and puff in there. And that's it. That's the round. So I'm gonna do that all the way around and then you should have 36 puff stitches. Chain two and then hop to the next stitch and puff stitch, awesome. So I'm gonna do that and then uh, we're gonna change color after this round. 
All right, when you're finishing this round, be sure to chain two and then slip stitch to the very first puff stitch or the first chain one of the puff stitch right up here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And now I'm going to change color. If you don't want to change color, just uh, slip stitch into the chain two space and then chain um, one, chain up one and go on to round seven here. But I'm going to chain one now and cut this yarn. Oops, there we go. And then pull it through that chain one and pull it tight. Insert your hook into any chain two space and I'm going to grab the off white color again. Right, attach Aran, yep. And this is the Aran Super Saver yarn. And we are going to go on to round seven. It says to chain one. And we're going to half double crochet into each chain two space. So this is actually going to come in now. So we're just going to yarn over, go into the chain two space here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops and then hop to the next here. It's gonna come in tighter, but we're just gonna half double crochet into each chain two space. And the next round, we are working in rows and we're uh, come doing the sides of the teapot cozy. So that's why we're coming in now on this round. So it's not really decreasing, but it is going to uh, kind of close everything down together. And you can kind of see that happening already where it's folding in. So that's what that's gonna do, okay? So we're just gonna half double crochet into each chain two space and then I'll come back for the next uh, step. We're gonna actually work in rows. All right, finishing round seven, we're gonna slip stitch to the first half double crochet here. So yarn over, pull through there and through the loop on your hook. And you can see that it is now bowling up. So now we're going to do the sides. So we're gonna do the first side now. This is row eight. We're gonna chain one, still with the same color here. Chain one, and we are going to puff stitch in this very first stitch here. So yarn over, go in yarn over pull through and do that three times in the same stitch seven loops on the hook yarn over pull through all of them and then chain one and we're going to do that until we have 17 or i'm sorry 18 <laughs> we're going to have 18 puff stitches in um, a row so yarn over go into the next yarn over pull through yarn over go in yarn over pull through and again and then yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and then chain one, and hop to the next stitch. And do that until you have 18 puff stitches. We're gonna leave the rest of the stitches unworked, and then we're going to, I'll come back and I'll show you how to go on to row nine. All right, after your 18th puff stitch, we are going to chain one, and I'm going to cut this yarn uh, because we're gonna, actually not turn our work we're going to start at the beginning of this round here so i'm going to cut that and pull it through that chain one and pull it tight and we're going to go all the way to the beginning of this row right here and we're going to introduce a fourth color here's this jade color and we are going to it says attach to the first puff stitch right in here go into the first stitch right here and then it says to um, half double crochet into this stitch. So chain up one. Okay, now this is considered row nine and we're gonna half double crochet into this puff stitch. Okay, then we're gonna half double crochet into this chain space right here. And now what we're going to end up doing actually is working into the chain spaces now. We're gonna put two half double crochets in this next chain space. One and two. Let's see. There we go. Okay, hop to the next chain one space and put two in there, two half double crochets. And we're gonna do that until we hit the end of this row. I'll show you how to finish this row and then we'll go on to row 10. Okay, at the end of this round, you want to make sure that you have 36 half double crochets. So if you do not, at this point, I actually do not, even if I put two half double crochets in this last chain one space. So I'm gonna actually put 
two half double crochets in this last puff stitch as well. And you want 36 stitches. So make sure that you have 36 stitches and if you do not, put two half double crochets in this last puff stitch here. Just like that. And that was row nine. So now I have 36 stitches across. Okay, this is what it should look like. So now we're going to chain one and turn our work this time. And now we're working across here and we're going to half double crochet into each stitch across. So yarn over. Now this is the very first stitch right here. Okay, so go into the very first stitch there and yarn over and pull it through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, and we're just going to half double crochet into each of these 36 stitches. So I'll do that and then I'll come back on screen for row 11. Alright, I'm just finishing row, row 10 here. Chain one and then cut this yarn. We're going to change color and go on to round, or I keep saying round, row 11. Pull that through that chain one here. And we're going to turn our work so we're looking at the outside of our piece. And we are going to insert our hook into this first stitch right here. And we are going to hook on this green color again. Let's add that one again. So pull that through and then chain one. And we are going to, let's see here, it says half double crochet into the first stitch. So yarn over, go into the first stitch and make a half double crochet. And then we're going to back post half double crochet on the rest of the stitches until the last stitch. So yarn over, go behind our work. Okay, remember how we did that in this round here, creating this little design. So we're going behind our work, around the stitch, yarn over and pull through. Okay, yarn over and pull through all three loops, just like that. So yarn over, go around the next post of the next stitch here, yarn over, pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops. If you do not like to do the back post stitches, just half double crochet across and that's good. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this row and we'll finish this row together and then we'll go on to row 12. You wanna finish this row by putting a half double crochet into the very last stitch. So into the actual stitch itself. Ignore this chain one right here that is not a stitch. And if you need to, count back that you have your 36 stitches across. And now we're gonna chain one and turn our work around. Going on to row 12, we are going to just half double crochet in each stitch, just working into the stitches here, this first stitch here. So I chained up one, and we're just going to half double crochet into each stitch. So a simple row, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll meet you up. We're gonna change color for row 13. All right, that row was super simple. We're gonna chain one and cut this yarn. I'm gonna change color for row 12 here, or I'm sorry, row 13. We're gonna chain one, uh, cut the yarn, pull that through, turn this around. So we're looking at the outside. Look at how cool that looks when you work through that back loop. That's awesome. Okay, or I'm sorry, not back loop, um, back post. So now we're gonna grab some off-white color again. And I'm going to actually attach my yarn to the back loop here. So usually we work through both loops like this. Okay, both loops, both loops, both loops, etc. The loop that's furthest away from you over here, that is considered the back loop. Okay, that's what we're going to work in for this row. This is row 13. So I'm going to attach my yarn right here on this first stitch and pull that through. And then we're going to chain one. You get some yarn here. Oops. There we go. Chain. Oh my goodness. Sometimes your yarn just runs away from you. There we go. Chain one. Okay. And in this same stitch, this first stitch right here, we are going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch in the back loop right there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, and just half double crochet into the back loop of each stitch across. Okay, and that is 
um, row 13. So I'll do that and then I'll come back on screen. We'll go on to row 14 next. All right, let's chain one and turn our work around. Well, first I wanna show you what that should look like. So you can see here working in the back loop only makes this loop right up front very visible. And that looks really cool in the front there. Okay, so going on to uh, row 14, I, we chained up one, we're gonna turn our work around and we're going to half double crochet two stitches together. So we're going to decrease here. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch, we're working through both loops now. So yarn over and pull through, go directly into the next stitch and then yarn over and pull that through. So we have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And that is a half double crochet two together stitch or a half double crochet decrease. Now we're just gonna put one regular half double crochet into each stitch until there are only two stitches left. Once there's two stitches left, I'll come back on screen, we'll decrease those two and then we'll go on to um, the next row, row 15. Alright, I have two stitches left here. We're going to decrease those together. So I've already yarned over. We're going to go into this first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, go into the last stitch, yarn over and pull that through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. So at the end of this row, um, row 14, we should have 32 stitches. So now let's chain one and we're going to change color. So I'm going to cut this yarn and then we're going to pull that through and pull it tight. I'm gonna turn my work around, so we're looking at the outside of our work, and I'm going to insert my hook into this very first stitch here, and I'm going to grab the red yarn. We haven't had that in a little while. So I'm gonna hook that on and pull that through, and we're gonna chain one with that. And we're going to repeat row 14 for row 15 now. So we're going to half double crochet these first two stitches together. So yarn over, go into this first stitch, then yarn over and pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. And then half double crochet into each stitch until there are two stitches left. We'll finish off this row and then we'll go on to row 16 next. All right, we're going to half double crochet these last two stitches together, just like this. And then we can go on to the last, or not the last, the next round here, next row. Chain one, turn your ro work around. Uh, row 16 is a little different. We have rows 16, 17, and 18 left here. So we're going to uh, do a half double crochet two together stitch on these first two stitches. Okay, you know how to do that now. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And that whole sequence, right from this beginning here, we're gonna repeat. So half double crochet two together, and then half double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then repeat, half double crochet two together, and then half double crochet in the next three stitches. And do that all the way across and you'll ha end up with 24 stitches at the end of this row. I failed to mention that there will be two stitches left. You have to half double crochet those last two stitches together. So if you don't have stitches extra on the last two stitches, that's no big deal, um, but you probably should have two left on there. Uh, you're following along same as me, and I had two left, so we're just going to half double crochet those two together, and we're going to chain one. I'm going to change color at this point, so I'm going to cut my yarn, and um, we're going to attach the green yarn. I'm going to pull this through this chain one here and turn the work around, so we're looking at the outside here. I have a few ends I have to sew in. Um, but we're gonna attach our yarn to this first stitch right here. And it says for this next row, row 17, 
we are going to attach our green here's our guacamole color okay and we're going to half double crochet two together so let's chain one here half double crochet these first two stitches together just like that and then half double crochet in the next two stitches so one and two and then just repeat that sequence all the way across so half double crochet two together and then half double crochet in each of the next two stitches okay half double crochet two together and then half double crochet in the next two stitches and at the end of this row again you'll have two stitches left so we're gonna half double crochet the last two stitches together I'll show you how to do that and then we'll go on to our last row Alright, if you only have one stitch left at the end of this row, just half double crochet in there. But if you have two stitches left, just half double crochet those two together. Okay, just like that. And then chain one and turn your work around and row 18 is just a half double crochet in each stitch across. So half double crochet, no decreasing, no increasing, nothing like that. Just putting one simple half double crochet in each stitch across for row 18. At the end of this row we're going to fasten off and go on to the next step. When you finish row 18 and just half double crochet across just chain one and cut your yarn and now what we're going to do we're going to pull that all the way through and pull tight. We're going to turn this this way so we can see what we're working with here this is what your piece should look like so you can see this is one half of our cup coat or our cup cozy our teapot cozy here so what we're going to do is work on these stitches next and I'm going to attach my yarn right here in this very next stitch that's unworked from round seven right in here next to this puff stitch and I'm going to grab my Aran off white color and we are going to simply repeat rows 8 through 18 on this part here, on this side as of our teapot cozy across this way to here. Okay, that's 18 stitches. So we're going to puff stitch, chain 1, just repeat row 8 here, and then continue on with your color changes, making sure they're even, uh, same color changes all the way up all the way up through here and repeat rows 8 through 18. Once you have finished that, uh, we just have a few more things we have to do and uh, then we'll be finished with our teapot cozy. So I'll be back after I finish row 18 on this side. All right, when you finish row um, 18 on the second side, on the second piece, or second half here, <laughs> We're going to make a little loop um, to button to the other side. So we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So don't fasten off, just chain six, and then slip stitch back into that stitch, that last stitch on that row. So slip stitch right there. Oopsie. There we go. And then we're going to just ch uh, fasten this off. So chain one. And then you can cut your yarn and then pull it through and pull tight. And there we have a nice loop right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is sew in this end. And as you can see on my opposite side, I have already sewed on a button. Just uh, go in from the inside and then go through the two holes of your button and then come out and just tie a knot in the back. I just did that off camera because it's so simple. You can sew a button to your piece on the opposite side of your loop here. And then I'm just going to sew in this end here. If you want to sew in your ends as you go, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I was sewing in my ends as I went and changed color so often. So make sure you do that so you're not, you know, sewing in a bunch of ends at the end here and then cut that okay so then that can button into that loop just like that perfect okay now the last thing we have to do is just sew up five rows on this side five or six rows we're just going to sew from here up 
like these three rows or three colors sorry so I'm gonna use just the green yarn uh, you can use really any color you want I'll just use the strand okay and I'm just going to yarn my needle with that and I'm gonna sew it in from the inside so I'm gonna kind of flip this inside out line up my lines here my rows and just kind of whip stitch this closed so starting here and just going through and through okay through and through the two layers and I'm just gonna do these first three colors here you can just continue watching once I have this sewn up we'll fasten this part off and then there's just one more thing I want to do uh, that's optional I want to add a palm to the top okay so once you have completed this part we're just gonna go around keep our finger in the loop come back through the loop and then pull tight and that creates a knot and then we're gonna sew in this end on the inside right here okay and then trim that side and then grab our yarn needle grab the other end of this strand and do the same thing tie it in a knot so come back around Keep our finger in the loop, come back through the loop, and then pull tight. And then sew in this end underneath the stitches. Okay, I'm going to go grab my palm maker and I'll be right back. Alright, so we have this sewn up and this attached here. I have my teapot over here. And I wanted to slide this on to make sure that it fits fully. I haven't even tried it on yet. <laughs> okay, so you put it on the spout first. And then slide it down the sides. Make sure that goes in there. We'll fill it up with hot tea first. <laughs> awesome! Oh my goodness, it looks so fabulous. So I just have one more thing that I wanted to do and that was to add a palm to the very top here and you can pin this to the side obviously you have to be more careful because if you fill this up with water or tea or something you can't pour it just like that so you gotta be careful <laughs> but there's that awesome now this next part is optional if you don't want to do it you can just keep your Pot, teapot cozy like this and it is super fabulous and lovely and it's so wonderful so let's go on to the next step though I have this cool palm maker it literally is called a macaroon palm maker I won this in a contest so I don't even know where you could get it at um, palmmaker.com I guess right there so this is like the label that came with it and these are the instructions that came with it so it's super easy and this is what it looks like and I started winding one side already so I'm just gonna show you you grab these pieces apart okay and these pieces come off I already wrapped this piece together but what you do is you take these two pieces like this and you take the yarn that you want to make the palm with and you just wrap it around these two pieces of wood and it says it in the instructions here very easily and it shows pictures and everything of how to do it and you can make these little cute little mini palms that can go on the top of your teapot cozy so I'm just gonna keep wrapping this I'm just gonna make a cute little off-white palm here and once I wrap this side I'll show you what I'm gonna do next Alright, so I'm cutting this short here. So this piece and this piece are wrapped. So we want to put them in this little piece here. Line everything up. There we go. 
make sure they go in there nicely they fit and then put this on top and it's so funny that it's called a macaroon paw maker because it kind of looks like a macaroon <laughs> which is really funny and then you got to take your scissors and go through this little ridge here and squeeze everything tight and try to cut all the strands and it can get a little difficult um, so it, I just take my time and trim it's just so thick because I wrapped it like a million times <laughs> so I'm gonna cut all the way around this thing and then um, I'm going to need another piece of yarn and make my palm. Now there's other palm makers out there that are similar to this uh, that you can get at any craft store. Or what you could do is cut pieces of cardboard and make a palm maker that way. And there's tutorials online on YouTube or anywhere that will show you how to do that, uh, how to make a palm maker out of cardboard. But I'm going to use this one little cute one today and I'm going to cut this yarn and then I'll be right back. Alright, once you have it like this, I'm going to grab another piece of yarn and we're going to wrap it in the center that we cut. So we're just going to wrap it around. Okay. And then we're going to, I'm going to set it down on the table here, and I'm going to tie this in a knot. And we're going to tie it really tight so it goes all the way in and ties all of our strands together. And I'm going to flip it, and these pieces can come off. Or not. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. Try not to break your yarn. I've done that before. There. Okay, you can take this off. Take everything apart. And then you want to shake out your palm to make it look more like a palm. Cute! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then what we want to do is tie it or cinch it to our teapot cozy. And I'm just going to sew it on, uh, even though it's on my teapot already. I'm just going to sew it on. So we're just going to go through one side. and the other side and these two strands can be tied in a knot and tie it again And then you can even cut them to the length of your palm. And you can trim your palm if there's any little extras. Aww, that's super cute. Oh my goodness. There it is. The teapot cozy is complete. This cute little palm maker was so easy to use and it was a lot of fun and it's super cute. So that palm is nearly perfect. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this teapot cozy. We did it together. I love it so much. And uh, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video so you can check out my uh, Facebook, Instagram, the pattern on yarnutopia.com is free written pattern and uh, everything else is on yarnutopia.com. If you have any questions about this pattern, please leave a comment. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time, happy hooking.